Welcome to the June 2024 housing report for the North Alabama area. Before we jump into the numbers, make sure you hit subscribe below to stay on top of all of the latest Huntsville, Alabama real estate news. First for the Huntsville area, it's really stayed pretty relatively flat over the last year. Average sales price is up $3,000, up to $390,000 versus $387 this time last year. So up about 1%. The number of homes sold was a slight increase, a 5.2% increase, 651 homes sold last year versus 685 homes sold this year. There's also been a huge increase, not only in the Huntsville area, but across North Alabama, 42.9% increase in terms of the number of homes on the market, sitting at 2,237 homes versus only 1,565 this time last year. Now for the Athens area, the Athens area has continued to rise in terms of average sales price up a whopping $20,000 year over year, $393,000 versus $373 this time last year. It has been neck and neck with Huntsville over the last several months, and it has now outpaced Huntsville in terms of the average sales price. That is now a first for Athens. I expect that to continue to be the trend as Athens is a growing suburb with uh, really highly desirable school districts. Uh, lots of things to do out in uh, Athens, including the new Bucky's. So Athens is definitely an area on the rise. Continue to look for that trend. However, homes sold did see a decrease, a 11.6% decrease year over year, 211 versus 189. And as in all the other areas as well, a huge increase in terms of number of homes on the market, a 59% increase. 819 versus 515. Morgan County continues to rise as one of the affordable housing areas in our market. Average sales price is up $6,000. Now we're close to $300,000, 297 versus 291 this time last year. There was a pretty significant decrease in terms of percentage, in terms of number of homes sold. In reality, that was only a 20 home sold difference, but a 17.3% decrease. 135 last year versus 115. And with all the other, like all the other areas as well, a big increase in terms of the number of homes on the market, a 72.3% increase, 386 versus 224. So for the overall North Alabama market, new listings is actually relatively flat year over year, down only a half a percent, 1495 versus 1502. That is significant because new listings have been on a tear the first five months, starting to level off in the June timeframe. Pending sales are down slightly at 3.2%, so relatively flat year over year, 1101 versus 1137 this time last year. A little bit of context here, you know, nationally, we saw uh, about 6 million homes sold during the pandemic area. Uh, 5 million is what we typically see this year and really last year as well. We're on pace for about 4 million homes sold. So a significant drop due to the increase in interest rates and affordability that we're seeing not only in Huntsville, but across the U.S. Closed sales are actually down year over year, down 9.8% from last June to this June, 1,074 versus 1,191. If you look at the overall closed sales number year to date, we're relatively flat. Days on market continue to increase, however, which is really a positive thing for buyers in the overall health of the market. Feels like eternity when you know, homes were selling in zero and one day in a week, but we are now up from 33 days average on market to 39 is what the average days on market is for the North Alabama area. Even with the lack of affordability and higher interest rates, the average sales price continues to increase across North Alabama up 6.2%. So actually outpacing inflation at this point, 350,261 was the number last year. Uh, for buyers last year, they're seeing about a $20,000 gain in terms of the average home. 371,865 is now the new average sales price. Percent of list price is pretty much flat down slightly, 98.8% to 98.6%. Really like to see about a 97% score in terms of a balanced market. I think we are closer than the number appears because a lot of builders are kind of hiding that number in concessions and other fields. And so I, I think we are at that 97% mark, you know, kind of overall for the market. Housing affordability is still down. This time last year, we're at 93. We're now at a score of 89 with the increase of prices. 
and interest rates hovering around 7% right now has affected that overall affordability. Now, the good news is that affordability number has been staying somewhat flat in the high 80s over the last couple of months. It looks like we may see a little bit of an uptick in terms of affordability if interest rates actually start to come down. One of the big news is that supply is up. We were at 2.8 months this time last year. We are now close to four months. We're at 3.7 months worth of supply. It has felt like a balanced market for really over six months now. Now we're actually getting numbers to support that. At 3.7 months, we are just slightly below that magical four months number. Four to six months is considered your average supply and not either not a buyer's market or a seller's market, but just a, a normal market. As we mentioned in Huntsville and Athens and the Morgan County markets, inventory is up. Overall inventory is up 32.1%. We are sitting at more homes available to choose from, over 800 additional homes to choose from. 2804 this time last year, we're now at 3627. So a huge jump, but in reality, we're just back to the pre-pandemic numbers of 2019, which was lower inventory than we historically see. So much better than we have been, but we're still not really where we need to be in terms of Huntsville or the overall US market. So overall prices are up across the Tennessee Valley with Huntsville's average price up $3,000, Morgan County up $6,000, and Athens really being the star in terms of average sales price, taking a huge leap up to $20,000, and has Huntsville beat for the first time in terms of average sales price at 393 versus 390 for Huntsville. I expect Athens really to continue to outpace Huntsville moving forward as a desirable suburb to live in and really to commute into those Huntsville jobs. So new listings have leveled off for the first time this year after a huge surge in the first five months of the year. We'll see if that trend continues. Over the last week or so, we have seen an uptick in terms of uh, listing signs. So I think that is a short pause, but we'll see how the July and the August numbers look to see if that's a trend. Inventory and supply are both up 30% year over year, which really just again, has us back to those pre-pandemic numbers of 2019. And we're also very close to that balanced market. Now with 3.7 months worth of supply, four to six months is by definition a balanced market. It feels like a buyer's market because of the extreme seller's market that we've experienced with low inventory over the pandemic era. In reality, the market is just normalizing in terms of appreciation rates and supply. However, the number of homes sold is relatively flat, down 0.6% year over year, but down 22% from 2022.